spinal arteriography, or spinal angiography. The surgeon and narrator, Dr. Michael Horowitz. Here we see a catheter called a Mickelson catheter. This will be inserted through the patient's right femoral artery into the descending aorta, and the tip of the catheter, the black portion, will be used to select uh, and inject different blood vessels supplying the spinal cord. This is a cobra catheter, another type of catheter used for spinal arteriography. Here we see it from end to end, and it also can be used to perform injections into the individual spinal arteries to evaluate the spinal cord. Here's a syringe attached to the end of the catheter. Using the syringe, we can inject contrast, which then comes out the tip of the catheter. This contrast goes into the blood vessels, and the contrast is imaged. The catheter tip is now inserted into a sheath which sits in the right common femoral artery. All work is done through this sheath. The catheter is advanced, and we will now use x-rays to guide what we are doing. Here the catheter is being advanced in the aorta. We can see the vertebral bodies and the ribs. The catheter will be gradually positioned in the aorta, and we will begin to place the tip of the catheter into individual spinal radicular arteries. Here we can see the catheter entering different spinal radicular arteries, but we want to start at a particular level. A total of 25 to 30 individual vessels will be studied. Here we can see dye being injected into a spinal radicular artery. Now a formal run will be done to document the image. This will be saved for later review. Here, the Cobra catheter, shown previously, is being advanced. It simply has a different shape. In some patients, one catheter is used, and in others, another is used, or sometimes a combination of the two, depending on the anatomy. Here, the catheter has been advanced. It's placed into a radicular artery. Of note, one also sees the anterior spinal artery being supplied off of this vessel to the spinal cord. An injection is carried out, and the image is saved for later review. Here the catheter is being manipulated and placed into another vessel. These manipulations and injections will be carried out 25 to 30 times in each individual vessel of, of interest until the study is completed. The entire study takes approximately 30 minutes.